The custom keyboard hobby used to be much more expensive, but recently it's been getting cheaper, and we're now at a point where you can buy an incredible keyboard kit for only $100. This is the Mons Geek M1. So in the box you get a tape mod, a pink coiled cable, the board itself already assembled, stab shims, an extra set of screw and stabilizers, which is pretty cool, and everyone else who got the board and will get the board gets pre-cut tape, but mine didn't come with it for some reason. It's fine, you know, it's, it's nothing, it's alright. Now, this keyboard seems like it's aimed at beginners, so how easy is it to build? To find out, I disassembled the keyboard into its individual parts and... Actually, I believe this keyboard is so easy to build that complete beginners can build it without thinking too hard about it. So, meet Eddie and Tuana. They've been on the channel before, Eddie mainly as the cameraman and cult classic Chef Ordini, and Tuana as tortured soul number one. They're also complete keyboard beginners, so alright, get to it. Need spare parts? PCB away. Get your 3D, CNC, and motherboard needs made here. What I like about PCB way? Hmm. Definitely their ease of use, because their parts configurator and quick turnaround times just really make them the right manufacturer for me. And don't even get me started about how low their prices are. Oh, it's gotta be their accuracy. They always make my parts on time and super high quality. And when it comes to the parts that I need, it's definitely the right choice for me. Good. I actually use them as my OEM, so that means I basically contract them and they manufacture my project from start to finish. And that's exactly what I need when I'm looking for a quick replacement. So what do you- Hey, yo, what a PCB my parts, bro, leave. Okay, we're back. And I'm not even gonna show you guys how they built it. I expected it to be funny or at least entertaining, but God, it's like these people have never been on camera before. Anyway, here's a stock sound test. Okay, not too bad. Pretty standard sound for a stock build. Kind of pingy, kind of rattly, but we'll fix that up soon. The good news is that if my friends could put their brain cells together and figure it out, then that means the board is pretty simple to build. Which is cool because it has potential to sound pretty good too. So let's mod it. And while I mod this, I want to talk about how custom keyboards are not that expensive anymore. A couple years ago, you'd only really be able to get a GK65 for $100, and with no shade to that legendary board, that is not a lot of bang for your buck. But nowadays, you can get 75% alu keyboards with switches and keycaps for no more than $120, which is really cool to see. For that reason, I'm proud of brands like Akko and QWERTY Keys bringing the high-end materials into the low-end budget, because this makes keyboards way, way, way more accessible, and people can pretty easily get keyboards that a couple years ago would cost between 200 and 300 bucks for the case alone. And in all honesty, this makes me happy and gives me hope that soon, when there's a big innovation in the scene, we'll get a very interesting board at a very accessible price that should hopefully spark interest in custom keyboards again. Anyway, let's get into the sound test and close out the video. 